Good morning, children. How are you all? Hope you all are doing good. So, children, the last class we have started a new lesson. It is the Tundra region Greenland, is it? And we also learned about the Greenland, the location of the Greenland, the climatic conditions of the Greenland, is it? So, the Greenland lies in the frigid zone, is it? So, the frigid zone is the area between the poles and the Arctic and the Antarctic circle. We call this region as the Tundra region. Okay. So in this lesson we have learned, we are going to learn about the place called Greenland. Is it? So this Greenland is the largest island in the world. Is it? So the Greenland is the largest island in the world and the name Greenland was given by the European explorer Eric the Red. Okay. And uh, as it is away, so this uh, frigid zone, it is far away from the equator. So these areas, the Tundra region are very cold, is it? So always most of the areas are covered with snow. So this uh, Tundra region, most of the places are covered with thick layer of ice. Okay. So these ice, sometimes these ice break off and they slide down the sea and they are called as icebergs okay so the thick ice okay so this most of the places in Greenland is covered by the thick layer of ice okay so sometimes these ice break off and they slide down into the sea and they are called as icebergs okay so these icebergs are very dangerous for the ships Okay, so these icebergs are 10% only it is above the sea and rest 90% are below the water, under water. So it is dangerous for the ships sailing on the sea because these icebergs are not visible due to the heavy fog. Okay, so like this uh, you all know the Titanic ship which was sailing. So this ship hit okay so this was this ship sank into the sea by hitting these type of icebergs okay so it is very dangerous for the ships sailing in this region because of these icebergs okay so these icebergs are not seen because 90 percent of the icebergs are underwater only 10 percent are above the sea okay so these icebergs are formed by the breaking of ice and they are sliding down into the sea. These are called as icebergs. So due to the, the climatic conditions over here is very cold over here. Okay. And in this region, okay, so this Greenland is also called as the land of midnight sun. Okay. So why it is called? Because the sun shines brightly even in the midnight. Okay, so the summer is only for a short period, it is for 3 months, okay. So here the sun shines, okay, in the summer, the sun shines even during the midnight, okay, in the summer. But whereas in the winter, sometimes for several weeks, the sun is not visible at all during the winter season, okay. So several, for several weeks, the sun is not visible at all here. But whereas in the summer, the sun shines even brighter in the midnight during the summer, okay. So this midnight sun is because the earth's axis tilt towards the sun during the summer. So this happens due to the rotation and revolution of the earth, okay. And due to this climatic conditions, the vegetation is not possible in this region, okay. Due to the extreme cold over in this region, the vegetation is not possible. Only during the short span of the summer season, uh, small grasses or colorful small plants are grown in this season during the short span of summer season, okay. Or others, otherwise, the vegetation is not possible because of the extreme cold over in this region, okay. Then we have talked about the wildlife, okay. So in this region, the animals which can withstand the extreme cold over in this region can only survive in this type of climate. So which are the animals uh, we have learnt in this region, it is the polar bear, the wild wolf like huskies okay then it is uh, what arctic turn and musk ox snow hare arctic fox so these are the animals which are survive which can survive in this region because it is extreme cold over in this region 
okay so next we go to the life of the people in this region okay how the people live in this region so this people okay the people of greenland they are called as eskimos okay the people of greenland are now are called as eskimos but now due to the mixed others okay the mixed of the other europeans now they are called as inuits okay so before the people of greenland are called as eskimos okay now the mixed of the europeans with this people now they are called as inuits okay now they are called as inuits and this eskimos they live in igloos during winter okay so these people live in igloos during winter so what is igloos so they are made up of block of ice okay made block of ice and they are in dome shaped okay so the igloos they use block of ice to make igloos houses which are dome shaped okay so the igloos igloos are the houses made of a uh, block of ice which are dome shaped okay so the eskimos live in igloos during winter season okay and how about in the summer season they live in tents made of animal skin so these are called as topics okay topics so these topics are the tents made up of animal skin so the eskimos the people of this region live in topics in the summer season okay so this tents this topics are made up of animal skin okay this is made up of animal skin so the people of greenland are called as eskimos okay now they are called as inuits due to the mixed okay they are mixed with the other europeans the people are mixed with the other europeans so now they are called as inuits okay and these eskimos they live in winter season okay during the winter season they live in igloos okay so igloos are the houses made up of block of ice okay dome shaped houses and during the summer season they live in tents made up of animal skin and it is called as topics okay topics are the tents made up of animal skin okay so this eskimos are good hunters okay the eskimos are excellent hunters they hunt seals whales and polar bears okay so in the past they used harpoons to hunt animals okay so these people they used to hunt animals for their food okay they used to hunt seals whales walrus and also polar bear for their food so they used to they used harpoons okay the harpoons they used harpoons to hunt the animals so this harpoons is a long spear with a leather rope attached to it okay so it is a long spear a needle type okay so it is a long spear with a leather rope attached to it so in the past they used the people of the greenland okay so the eskimos they used to hunt animals for their food okay so they used harpoons okay harpoons to hunt animals so what is this harpoons it is the long spear okay long spear with a leather rope attached to it it is a needle type so they used harpoons to hunt the animals they used to hunt whales seals polar bears okay all these animals for their food so the eskimos make use of almost all part of the hunted animals okay so they used to hunt animals so they make use of the all parts of this animals so how they use so they use its flesh as food okay the hunted animals they use the hunted animals flesh as food and they use the fat okay the fat content of the animal they are called as blubber so they use it as a fuel to cook food and the bones and the tendons are used to make needles and harpoon heads okay the bones of the animals are used okay they are used to make the harpoons or needles to hunt animals so the hunted animals they make use of the animals they make use of all the parts of the hunted animals they use the 
flesh for their food and the fat of the uh, animal they call it as blubber okay they do make use of uh, as a fuel to cook food and they use the bones okay they use this bones to make needles or the harpoon heads so like this they make use of this animals hunted animals all parts of the animals okay so this harpoon they used to kill the animals so harpoons have now been replaced as automatic rifles okay now this so in the past they were using this harpoon to hunt the animals now this harpoons are replaced with the rifles or the gun type to hunt the animals okay and in the water they use small boats called kayaks okay the small boats called kayaks to hunt sea animals okay so in the water they use for the transportation they use small boats called kayaks okay the small boats are called as kayaks they used to hunt sea animals same way they even use large boats okay they are called as umia okay umia to hunt whales to hunt big sea animals so they use they need large boats is it so they use large boats they are called as umia to hunt whales okay so this is in the they use the transport in the water so they use on land for the transportation they use sledge okay the sledge so these sledge are pulled by the reindeer or huskies okay the wild dogs called huskies so these sledge is uh, used it is a type of vehicle which is used to slide on the snow okay so this region is always covered with snow right so on the land they use sledge for the transportation okay they use sledge and these sledge are pulled by the reindeer as i told you before in the wild life the reindeer and the huskies are famous here because these sledge are pulled by the reindeer or huskies okay on land they use this sledge to for the transportation okay so this was about the life of the people and now the changing lifestyle of the people by the unites how they have changed okay so for hundreds of years you know it's by hunting fishing and gathering goods during the summer and spring season okay so they were hunting the uh, animals and they were doing fishing okay they were fishing for their food this lifestyle of the inuits has undergone many changes now okay the lifestyle of the inuits inuits means the people of the greenland has been changed now so how it has changed now today most inuits live in towns okay live in towns and small settlements okay so now they use to live in towns in the small settlements there are towns with modern facilities they have electricity permanent houses schools hospitals shops etc okay so the lifestyle of the inuits have been changed now the people of okay now the people of the greenland the people they call as inuits the lifestyle of the inuits has been changed okay they used to live okay now they are living in the small towns they have permanent houses they have the facilities of electricity they have schools hospitals shops etc so now they use rivers for hunting and motor boats for fishing okay so instead of harpoons instead of harpoons now they are using rifles okay gun to hunt the animals and they use instead of small boats and large boats now they use motor boats okay motor boats have been used to hunt the animals okay and they use motorized sledges also okay so these sledges were pulled by the reindeer and the huskies now they use to the sledges motorized sledges and it is called as skidoo okay s k i d o o so this skidoo it is a motorized sledges to move on the land to slide on the snow so like this the lifestyle of the people living in the 
changed okay and they now they have also they have the airline services okay now greenland cities have air links with europe and america okay so they have the air links with europe and america so nuuk has become a modern city okay nuuk has become a modern city and it is a major center for fish processing okay so it is a major center for fish processing fish is gained and exported to many countries from this region okay so fishing is the main occupation of the people who live in this region so this fish okay what they do fishing and this fish is preserved okay gained means it is preserved or sealed and this it is exported to many countries okay some towns of greenland have been connected to denmark and north america through air services okay so as i told you before now this greenland has the air links which connect the europe and america so greenland is rapidly developing okay it is developing rapidly with the help of the science technology so many industries such as mining and oil drilling has also been established in this greenland so this greenland is now been rapidly developing okay so from the past how the people were living now it is much better okay? it has developed much better from the use from the help with the help of the science and technology so this was about the people of greenland and the changing lifestyle of the people okay the people of the greenland they are called as inuits okay children so like this the people used to live in this region so here i have completed the explanation of the lesson number 5 the tundra ridge okay so now everyone open your textbook we are going to complete the exercise part of this lesson okay everyone open your textbook Okay, children, everyone, open your textbook, page number two hundred and thirty-three. Okay, page number two hundred and thirty-three. So first, we tick the correct option. A me tick the correct option. So first question: Polar regions are also known as temperate zone. tropical zone frigid zone so polar regions are also known as frigid zone is it so a mean first one answer is it option c so tick option c okay so polar regions are also known as frigid zone second one greenland is the world's largest peninsula Island country. So Greenland is the largest island, is it? So the second answer is option B. Take option B. Okay. So Greenland is the world's largest island. Third one. Wolf-like dogs called dash are found in the region. Lemmings, huskies. Must ask them. 
months okay so next we we'll want to the we mean fill in the blanks want to the we mean fill in the blanks so the first one greenland is the biggest dash in the world so greenland is the biggest island so the first answer is Summer season is it? So the green light is also called. 
as the what? The land of midnight sun because the sun shines brightly even in the midnight during the summer season. But whereas in the winter for several weeks the sun is not visible at all. Okay, the sun is not visible at all in the winter season. So the sun never sets during the winter season in Greenland. The statement is false. Okay. So children here we have completed the textbook exercise of this lesson also. Okay. All the three means. First mean take the correct option. Second mean fill up the blanks. And third mean true or false. Okay children. So here I am going to end the session now. Okay. So the classroom part of this lesson will be. Okay. I am going to send you through Polo notes. Okay children. So copy the notes in the classroom. Properly, okay. So here I'm going to end the session now. Okay, children. Thank you.